Well, this week, the Small Business Administration officially opened the application process for a new round of PPP funding. Another $280 billion is up for grabs, and that aid for many small businesses could determine their survival. In tonight's Rebound Detroit, 7 Action News reporter Amir David shows us what's new in this latest round of funding. Glad it's coming. Amir? Yeah, we all are. Carolyn, more than 100,000 Michigan businesses have granted funding by, been granted funding by the Paycheck Protection Program in the spring. Now, that includes one popular Metro Detroit tasting room. And while very thankful, they say to stay alive, more is needed. It's frustrating, it's scary, it's disappointing to get to such a point where you feel like everything's a well-oiled machine and to have it be derailed. When Michigan by the bottle owner Courtney Casey jump-started tasting rooms in Shelby Township, Royal Oak and Auburn Hills, she knew it would be a challenge, but nothing like this. We've probably lost about 50% of our revenue. Practically overnight, a hustling, bustling operation was downsized. Sad time for us. We lost about half of our staff. The happy faces dining over wine and tapas seen no more, reflecting a brutal reality. 5,600 or 33 percent of Michigan restaurant operators say it's unlikely they'll still be in business in six months. Financial aid has been hard to come by, and despite many getting a bump in help from past PPP funding, many restaurants like Michigan by the Bottle have been forced to rely on curbside sales and revenue from adapting limited outdoor space. We joke that we've never been so excited about having eight customers at one time. You know? Courtney did get a PPP injection in the spring. The aid was helpful, but short lived and the guidelines awfully unclear. There's a lot of confusion about what actually is going to be forgivable. Um, the terms keep changing when it had to be used by. Financial expert Kirk Cassidy says in this latest round of funding, the government is clearing up some big questions. Now they've clarified any loans that are received are going to be tax deductible. While better earmarking the aid for those who need it the most. You must prove that your income has been reduced by 25% in any one quarter. And the goal here is to focus on those small businesses that are most vulnerable right now. Do you think this is a game changer for small businesses? I think it is a game changer in that many of these really small businesses will likely have a greater chance of succeeding. Here's the rebound rundown on changes made. Borrowers can now set their loan covered period to be any length of time between 8 and 24 weeks to meet their needs. The latest round will cover additional expenses, including any operational costs or property damage repairs. And if you already received a PPP loan, you are eligible to apply again. And that's exactly what Courtney plans to do. It would mean everything for us. I mean, right now, things are really difficult. The potential for a second loan, giving her hope that this tasting room business, a one-of-a-kind dine and wine, will live to see another day. An important note, the application window for PPP funding ends on March 31st, so do not wait to apply. Also, if you're interested in dining at Michigan by the Bottle in one of their outdoor heated tents that you just saw there, we're going to post reservation details on our website. Carolyn, they say customer support has been the only thing holding them together. So we've got to support those Michigan businesses when we can. Yeah, good tip. We all need to remember, right? Got to support our local businesses. And that was a great uh, a looking little eatery right yes. there that you showed us. Thank you so Thank much, you. Amira. We want to hear from you at the Rebound Detroit. Send us your pandemic-related questions and concerns to Rebound Detroit at WXYZ.com.